Um, we are in Chicago and we're at um, Inner City Impact and we've been here since Sunday. So we're here just doing a day camp and being with kids and having fun. We've been um, helping out with uh, special talents, um, teaching the kids. Um, like formalized basically about hunting animals and stuff and um, so basically that stuff they haven't seen that they have not experienced before. I was with the kindergarten and first grade girls and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, since they're younger they do have like a lot more attitude I feel like um, but they are younger so they're e easier to talk to um, you can pull out anything like pink and sparkles, ponies, and then they're excited to talk about it. So that was easy to relate to them. Getting to know my kids was really, it was really nice because you can see so many things happening going right for their lives, but then at the same time, you can also just tell by how casually they speak that there are a lot of things going wrong in their life too. And it's just different, but it's also nice because then they decide that they're gonna trust you and they open up to you and when you're like when you have everybody you don't really get close to any kids but when you just have one specific group you can get close to them and they can just start trusting you and yeah opening up. Uh, favorite moments when um, well today at the park uh, I got to spend a whole bunch of time with like alone or like one-on-one -on -one conversations like asking if they were saved or anything like that and then the best moment of this whole trip when I wanted the kids um, he thought that he was saved by his bag he had on but then I, I went through I walked on through the gospel he seemed to be okay with it like sometimes um, he was not paying attention or something but I'm pretty sure he got most of it in so, yeah. Well, our youth actually it surprised me a little bit because I'm not normally around them very often. Um, I'm part of the college group a lot, so um, just being with them was interesting to see the the way they like to work together um, for just the common goal of spreading the gospel to these kids. And it's been really really cool to see how how much they have a love for one another which reflects off onto the kids and their love for them. God has really taught me patience and loving in a different way, kind of learning to adjust my my way of being patient and stopping to think before I react and because I'm always I've always just been a reactor of like they do something sit down listen da, 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 you know and he's really taught me patience to just take time to calm down and uh, pray before I react and then taking more time to think before I speak. Up on this trip, um, I learned more about the kids, like um, how much they have to compare to me and like how much um, how much God blessed me and like, um, like how much he provide for me compared to them so basically like what are the complaints that I have during the day to compare what they have basically they're wearing clothes or something like that and basically it taught me to, to be more open and try to serve more uh, kids more guys and just to be less selfish and a lot of patience a lot of patience Something I could take home from this trip is probably hope because people lose it so easily and it's hard to get back because it's hard to believe in something and seeing the people working with the kids here and just genuinely loving it and loving the kids 
it's just kind of hopeful because those kids might not get the genuine love of another person at their home. And here they can get that. I mean, I have seen the staff and it seems like everybody here cares about these kids. Thank you, Grace Bible, for coming out again this year. We really appreciate all the work that you put into day camp, uh, serving these kids in ICI, and just making it possible to share the love of Christ here in Chicago.